Thanks for watching fam. If you like my stories and cooking, make sure to hit like on this video and hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. Ever since I was a little kid, I've had this weird feeling like I've been pursued by spirits or ghosts. When I was young, I could feel them around me and once even had a ghost grab my hand while I was on the stairs, which froze me in time and I couldn't run and I couldn't scream for what seemed like forever. I used to have visions of bodies coming out of the walls and grabbing me in the night. And when I tried to sleep, I would see demons in the corners of my room watching me. So I've always slept with my head under the covers. To this day, um, much to the annoyance of my wife, a real adult, but she still doesn't like looking over at night and seeing her husband looking like a body under a shroud. I've lived in two for sure haunted buildings. First was a row house in Brooklyn, a brownstone. It was built by a ship captain who abused his wife. She fled one day in 1905 with some money she had hidden and she made it all the way to New Jersey before the police caught her and returned her to her abusive husband. Akab. I never found out what happened to her, but I would hear footsteps at night when I was alone in the building, they would go up and down the stairs to the basement. But if I got up, there'd be no one home. And I always hated going down into the basement to do my laundry. The building I live in now is a 1930s tenement building. There are a lot of unexplained things. When I first moved in, I was going down the stairs when I grabbed the banister and it was covered in ectoplasm. Or at least that is what I choose to tell myself, because the alternative is even worse. I've had lots of things fall unexplained. Um, in the kitchen, a box of salt fell off the pantry shelves in the middle of the night when nobody was there. Not even the cat. He was in bed. My bass guitar has suddenly fallen off the wall where it was hanging there for years, undisturbed. Although maybe that could be blamed on the quality of this almost hundred year old plaster wall and the 30 layers of paint that the super has put on top of it since then. My wife also hears what she describes as quote farts in the night that are neither mine nor hers. Of course there is the ghost of my cat Snagglepuss who died in my arms in the bed I sleep in to this day but he's a friendly boy and I think he just spooks my current first son Miso and chases him around the apartment. That's the only way I can explain Miso's weird behavior. But seriously, I've always felt uneasy here. I constantly see things out of the corner of my eye, figures, animals, shadows that are never there when I look again. I hear whispers in the night that don't sound like my neighbors, and I can barely stand to be here alone at night if my wife goes out of town. I have to sleep with a light on and movies playing if I'm alone. I know I could look up murders or crimes in the building, but I'm not going to, and I don't think I ever will because I need to be able to sleep here.